Hi, I'm Joe, and I just want to tell you a little bit about my trip out to the Grand Canyon. Uh, for the first time, I may do better the next time I describe it. But uh, I made it from Philadelphia, PA, out to uh, Logan, Utah. It's one of my favorite places. Uh, where there's a university there, big national forest up there called uh, Bear Lake National National or uh, State Park, I guess. Uh, Cache Valley National Forest it's around Bear Lake and uh, it's about 200 miles south of Yellowstone National Park. Uh, I personally went out there on Route 80 because I thought Route 80 is the faster road to go from the east to the northeast United States out to uh, Utah where a lot of the canyon parks are and then down to the Grand Canyon. It's kind of a ways out there. Grand Canyon National Park, from where I just said, from uh, Cache Valley National or State Park. Here's um, Salt Lake City. Route 80 is way up here, and uh, we came in through uh, this part of it here, uh, way up here, and the Grand Canyon is about here. That's ways out. Um, so I kind of went between Route 70 and Route 80, Route 80 to Route 70, and uh, Grand Canyon is just a great place to go. It was very scenic on the north side, and uh, I started down through the whole state of Utah, um, and uh, came down the railroad route because I'm a rail fan and I uh, was listening to the railroad channels and hearing how they operate there in Utah. Uh, we went down through Lehigh, Utah, and uh, across uh, Delta, Utah, and into Cedar City, Utah. And uh, then I cut across a little shortcut there to Bryce Canyon National Park, and I really recommend that place, Bryce Canyon, uh, because it looks just like the Grand Canyon difference between Bryce and Zion Canyon are pretty close to each other is that uh, when you're in Zion Canyon National Park you have to look up at everything the canyons above you the view of the canyon you're on the canyon floor basically in a Bryce Canyon National Park it's more like the Grand Canyon in that everything's below you uh, the only problem you have there at Bryce Canyon when you first go out there is at the high altitude it's hard for a lot of people to adjust to uh, eight to 9,000 foot altitude. And uh, the best way to go there, I think, uh, isn't the way I did it. If you're going to go to Utah and, and travel to the Grand Canyon, you should use the old Interstate 89. It takes you around a lot of parks. It's a little better road. I went, um, I went down to the uh, south side of the Grand Canyon. I don't recommend that too much. Uh, the north side is really the more scenic side, it seems. And uh, you follow Alternate 89 around the east side of the Grand Canyon. You will see a lot there. You see a lot of uh, good views of the Grand Canyon. And it's a really colorful country out there. North side, there's more animals up there. Um, it's more rustic up there, less people up there. And uh, you get to see so much more if you start from the north side. And there's such a thing as a grand circle tour of all the canyons out there. And uh, of course, I started up in Cache Valley, close to Yellowstone. And there was a ways down to the uh, Great Circle. All of that was quite worth it. Um, it's all, uh, there's a lot of national forest in a way, on the way down. It's uh, what they call a Utah Scenic Byway, Route 89. Uh, it's just the most stunning, uh, spectacular color country, national, uh, natural habitat you'll ever see. 89 through uh, Cedar Breaks National Monument. Bryce Canyon National Park, 
Zion Canyon National Park, north side, and east side, and the south side. Let me tell you, that's got to be the best, best vacation you could ever have for two weeks. It's just excellent. And uh, someone said I should have rented an RV out there. Uh, there are RV rentals available all over the place out there. There's even a Harley Davidson rental place out there. So, there's better ways to get out there, I guess. Uh, I took the long way getting out there. Uh, I made it out there in three days with my Class B motorhome. You can do that if you have a good van, but it's pretty difficult to do it with a small car to travel uh, 2,000, 2,100 miles out that far. Um, there's a lot of boring country in between, a lot of heavy traffic in the central states. Uh, it's not as pleasant as it could be. Uh, when you get out there, it's just spectacular. Natural habitat really is. Highly recommend a Grand Canyon vacation. As long as you do the Great Circle Tour, it's, uh, it's quite worth it. Now, rim to rim and north to south. And Phoenix isn't really far away either. You know, when you're in Arizona, you can fly in there. just go up the road for half of a day you get to the Grand Canyon it's about 260 miles we stopped at the Grand Canyon deer farm it's really worth it we just went to the south side with my family I came down from the north side I saw all that but you know uh, the north side is quite worth it it really is you can miss so much if you don't get to the north side so good luck to you if you're going out there and I know I want to go out there again. Now, I used to go to Florida a lot. And Florida, oh man, that's about half as good as being out here. The Grand Canyon. It's just more natural, more animals. Uh, just better uh, parks to see. Okay, talk to you later.